the interesting thing about this particular ship to Philadelphia is that it was built here in the Philadelphia Navy Yard. Without battleships, we would not have uh, had such an influence on world affairs that we have had in this century. On the USS Wisconsin, uh, battleship number 64, which was commissioned in 1944. I just wanted to see if any of the big equipment was made in Philadelphia. Hmm. My name is Jane Allen, and I'm the curator of the Philadelphia Maritime Museum. It's got a big lathe. I'm here to see if there were any artifacts we would like to recover from the Wisconsin. Philadelphia has a long shipbuilding tradition, which most people aren't aware of anymore, because it illustrates the amount of metal and materials that went into this ship for protecting the crew when they were in battle. And this says a lot. I can't take the whole ship, but I'm going to take, if I can, one object. This is a, a, a piece of board that was used to cover over this panel here, but it's been signed or inscribed by members of the plotting room crew. It's been real. It says it's uh, fire controlled. The last crew that was on board, it showed what their comments were, what they were thinking, how they felt about their ship. <laughs> we came, we saw, we kicked it. Iraq don't like us anymore. Leading chief and old man of the sea. Old man. Different calculations used in firing the battery. Our charter is to collect preserve and interpret the history of the Navy. My name is Mark Wertheimer. I'm a curator for the Naval Historical Center in Washington, D.C. We have what? In the beginning of January, the Navy made a decision to reclassify these ships from a reactivation asset to a memorial museum donation asset. This is the combat engagement. It's I would the, uh, suppose that the Navy has decided it is too expensive to, to reactivate. I mean, it's been covered over on the outside. The battleships in general, not just the Wisconsin, are, in a way, they're showboats. They show the power and the influence of the Navy throughout this century. As a, an active naval ship, it, is, it has been born here, and it will probably end its active service here.